Great, uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jun Dai. I'm a PhD student at uh, Car Lab from Rutgers University. And today I'm going to talk about uh, a new project uh, um, Professor Vasarelli and I are working on, uh, which is called Towards uh, Blockchain Based Accounting and Assurance. The blockchain is a very new technology and is considered as the most important and uh, innovative uh, technologies in recent years. Uh, its adoption has been discussed by various domains, uh, but uh, its uh, uh, use in accounting and assurance is still under uh, explored. So, uh, Professor Vasarelli and I just want to uh, initiate uh, a discussion on how blockchain can change uh, audits and uh, accounting and paradigm and uh, how it can enable uh, uh, real-time and uh, reliable and secure uh, accounting and assurance. The so blockchain is considered as a public ledger that provides a secure infrastructure that allows strangers or unfamiliar parties to treat, uh, to treat in, uh, to treat with this technology securely. So uh, it uh, uh, can avoid the uh, uh, the role of a single uh, central. Uh, authority because uh, nowadays when we trade with each other or we purchase an item online we need to use bank to uh, serve as a central authority to allow us to do business with the uh, uh, merchandise uh, with the mer uh, with the uh, companies or uh, individuals that uh, sit behind the internet so what we want to do is that uh, uh, we think this uh, technology this uh, uh, strategy is not very secure because first uh, it's uh, can, uh, those uh, central authorities can expose to cyber attack uh, for example uh, the uh, there are uh, these days there are many cyber attacks uh, 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 exist uh, the target the uh, uh, the Chase Bank are also are all under attack. So uh, we think that there must be a secure solution that can replace their role in the trading and to pro uh, to provide a more intelligent and secure uh, trading between uh, unfamiliar parties. And another uh, issue is that uh, those parties can uh, use their power to manipulate the transactions. And also, it can uh, uh, increase the cost of trading. So uh, we think that we, there might be a, a solution to solve that problem. So blockchain can play this role as uh, autonomous central authority. And uh, uh, so uh, everybody can treat through this internet, through this network without a central authority. Okay, blockchain's application uh, has been involved in many uh, domains, including banking, uh, financial market, insurance, voting system, leading contracts, government, etc., etc. But uh, as I said, their accounting and assurance application is not well discussed. So this paper aims to provide an initial discussion on how technolo uh, blockchain technologies can change the current uh, accounting and audit par uh, uh, paradigm and uh, how uh, it can help uh, the current audit paradigm to become a more precise, timely, and automatic assurance system. Next, let's talk about the difference between a blockchain system and a ERP system. So both blockchain and ERP system can be used to record accounting data. So it's worth to compare their difference uh, to uh, and see how blockchain can bring benefits to us. 
So uh, the first one is that the ERP system is a centralized system and the blockchain is a decentralized system. So as I said, so decentralized blockchain can uh, avoid uh, uh, transaction cost and can also increase the, uh, the security of the system. So this uh, brings to the next benefit of the uh, blockchain. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, it is all, uh, usually at a low uh, tampering risk, but uh, ERP system can be tampered, uh, uh, um, and and, uh, and also uh, blockchain uh, record accounting uh, transaction uh, accounting data in a trans uh, in a linear transactional way, but ERP system. Uh, arranged accounting, uh, arranged accounting data uh, in a re relational database, and uh, also uh, the blockchain uh, can create uh, self-enforcing contracts that uh, can um, perf execute uh, according to the business rules or accounting rules that has been embedded into it. Uh, it uh, is a very uh, useful case for uh, blockchain because it uh, can auto uh, can customize the uh, business controls that each company want to uh, execute, and also uh, blockchain and is uh, um, more automatic than the ERP system. It does not need to involve many uh, human resources. And uh, also, as I said, blockchain uh, the controls in blockchain can be customized using a smart contract, uh, while ERP systems, uh, we have already built those uh, uh, controls in it. So, uh, since blockchain can be used to uh, record accounting information system, now let's see how can blockchain can be uh, used and uh, can and be uh, uh, operate uh, in line with the original ERP system or accounting information system. So here I. Uh, this paper proposed a triple entry accounting information system, uh, which uh, two entries is the same entries that uh, has already been posted in the ERP system, and the third entry is being um, posted to the blockchain. So uh, here, this uh, picture shows a simplified uh, uh, blockchain-based accounting information system. For example, uh, if uh, suppliers, uh, if a company is made a purchase with the suppliers on credit, then the uh, company's ERP system will record the purchases uh, in, in the uh, accounts payable accounts and the inventory accounts. And uh, then uh, it will also enter a third entry into this uh, blockchain ledger. So it's, uh, uh, this record will be uh, um, written uh, as a, a token transmission between the accounts receivable accounts and the inventory accounts in the blockchain ledger. And also, since the company pur made a purchase on credit, it's, uh, the, 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 the companies will also um, and there, uh, the companies will, the suppliers will also uh, issue an obligation tokens to the company, and uh, uh, if the company pay the uh, uh, the pay the suppliers, the companies will issue a relief, uh, a reverse obligation tokens to the suppliers to clear the obligation, and uh, uh, then the, finally the. Blockchain uh, has also generated uh, the um, many accounts as the same as those accounts in the ERP system, and it also uh, generates those accounts in a hierarchy structure. So uh, those uh, those accounts has uh, those uh, structures has uh, accounts individual accounts at the bottom and the asset liability and the equity in the middle and also the company uh, 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 as a whole at the top. 
So uh, through this uh, uh, architecture level, the companies can um, deliver their content information to various parties and also uh, deliver uh, the various uh, the different uh, oblig uh, uh, aggregation level of company of the financial information to different interested parties. And uh, uh, here, based on this uh, account, uh, account, uh, triple accounting information uh, system, we can uh, enable a blockchain-based accounting ecosystem. So blockchain uh, can document those business transactions and activities into this public, secure, and uh, flexible uh, ledger so that uh, uh, interested parties can go to this blockchain ledger and uh, get their uh, interested information. And uh, also, uh, those uh, information verification process, storing, and uh, uh, reporting can be uh, built into smart contracts to automate, automate those processes. The uh, smart contract is a kind of uh, 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 automatic agent that can execute uh, following the business rules and accounting rules that has been embedded into it. Uh, so uh, uh, companies and uh, like management and auditors can build various uh, like uh, uh, smart contracts that can uh, monitor and control those business and accounting processes. Uh, the final uh, uh, part I want to discuss is apply uh, blockchain to enable continuous assurance. So this uh, picture is uh, based on the audit uh, 4.0 that I discussed in the previous uh, section. Uh, so in the previous uh, uh, project, so. Um, uh, Professor Vasrelli and I also imagined uh, a new generation of audit uh, uh, profession and uh, in that uh, uh, audit 4.0 uh, we have two uh, uh, parts, the physical world and the mirror world. So we think that the blockchain can help uh, us to, uh, uh, to realize this audit 4.0. So uh, basically, the physical world transmits the activities and the conditions of physical objects to the mirror world. And uh, then the mirror world has all this data and can have many uh, analytic models to uh, uh, perform analysis on those data. And uh, also, if those uh, uh, services have been provided, the companies can um, pay the audit firms. So the mirror world has three layers. Uh, the data layers which have use blockchains to record the accounting information like physical uh, objects, uh, life logs, or other non-financial information. And all these information will be uh, transmitted to the second layer, which is a service layer that uh, uh, like audit firms and uh, other experts can build models to analyze those, uh, those uh, data. And those models can be sales into uh, smart contracts. And the smart contract can run automatically uh, based on the uh, business rules and uh, models that has been programmed into them. And finally, uh, uh, it's the payment layer, which is that uh, some smart contracts have been set to monitor the service providing. So if a service is provided based on the predefined agreement, then the, uh, uh, the blockchain will release the company's money to the audit firms so to make the payment. 
And uh, finally, I just want to quickly talk about the challenge that uh, the uh, firms will face when they adopt blockchain. And the first uh, challenge is uh, when uh, operate blockchain, it will demand uh, a lot of amount storage and uh, high uh, uh, computational power. So uh, companies need to make a dramatic investment uh, to do, to purchase those storage and uh, computational power. And the second one is that uh, uh, blockchain can uh, re uh, can record many accounting information, but uh, it's a, a role, it's a job of uh, uh, management that to decide which accounting data should be uh, put on the blockchain. And also, uh, the blockchain, the use of blockchain will dramatically change the cooperation processes of recording accounting information system. So uh, the use of uh, uh, blockchain should be uh, in line with the uh, traditional use of ERP system. And finally, the auditors, the management, and uh, also regulation regulators need to uh, be technically trained to understand the uh, uh, the basic knowledge about blockchain and smart contract to perform a better use of to to do a better use of smart contract and blockchain. Thank you.